welcome back to my channel my name is amaka of skyvale beauty and you're welcome today's makeup is on this gorgeous look as you can tell i'm super excited so we're going to start off with our p louise eyeshadow base and i am applying that all over my eyelid and i'll just blend it out with a fluffy blending brush i'm using a synthetic brush here and it will serve as a base for the vibrant colors we're using later on next up i'm taking my perception palette i'll be mixing those two shades and using them as my transition color and i want to give my transition area a warm brown tone hence i'm mixing two colors now i'll take this shade right here it's an even warmer um, brown and I'm just going to concentrate that color on the outer corner and then I'll move on to those two darker browns and I'll first apply it on my outer eye area so once this color is fully concentrated on the outer area of my eye I would start to blend the color towards the inner part of my eye mind you are doing a cut crease so you really want to make sure you concentrate your colors above the crease so that when you cut it you can see the, the whole blending you did now i'm switching to this small um blending brush and i'm just taking that dark brown color and i'm going to pack that in my crease you know to serve and give more definition taking that light brown shade and i'm just going to diffuse the crease area at my crease i'm using my p louise eyeshadow base and I'm using the shade room of five. I'm just going to use that to, you know, cut the crease as usual. And I'm taking my NYX glitter primer. I'm just going to use that and apply it on top of the place where we cut our crease. The reason I'm doing this is simply because this specific green um, matte pigment pigment sorry <laughs> is difficult to work with on its own i tried it several times i had to refilm this video like four times before i finally figured out how to use it so for this exact shade you can't just go in with your brush and just apply it straight onto your concealer it's going to fall apart so i had to use the glitter primer for it to adhere to it and come out looking decent so that's what we're doing here i was really careful Now I'm taking this other shade as well, it's like a mellow yellow color. I'm just going to mainly apply that on the outer corner, you know, try and diffuse and ombre out the neon green. And the combination of the two colors gave it a beautiful yellow neony color, it was so gorgeous. <laughs> Taking my NYX eyeshadow base in pure white, I'm just going to line my waterline. And I'll be mixing those two shades right there using a pencil brush. And I'll run that on my lower lash line, not all the way across, just like a third of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking all the the two colors we applied on the lid and I'm just going to run that across the lower lash line as well. I'll be taking my um, Benefit Mascara, I'm so used to saying Maybelline, fit me. My Benefit The Real Mascara and I'll apply that only on my top lashes and boom, we have our falsies on. <laughs> For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 340 Cappuccino, my all-time favorites. And I'm just going to buff that into the skin using my Real Techniques Espat Face Brush. For 
for concealer i would use my colourpop no filter concealer in the shade dark 42 as always and i am using my nuban beauty sponge this is a highly raved sponge oh my goodness i've been wanting to get this sponge for the longest time and i finally got my hands on it i would say it's a regular sponge i had maybe because it was over hyped but mm, it blended like my normal sponge i'm taking my colourpop no filter powder in the shade banana and we're just going to set all the places where we highlighted to set my contour i would use my sleek face form contour kit unfortunately in this particular video i forgot to cream contour guys <laughs> but it still works you can powder contour who says you can't and because of that i used my banana powder to define you know the powder contour so we have a sharper more defined look since i'm not trying to bake or anything i'm just going to wipe it off immediately for blush i'll use my slick blush in the shade sahara this blush is much loved as you can see i've hit pan already with a highlighter, I will be using my um, Shayla X Colourpop highlighter in the shade Pose. To line my lips, I'm using the Colourpop BFF3 lip liner, lip pencil, sorry. And this is the Blood Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Lipstone. OMG, guys, this is the most beautiful peachy nude. To top it off, I would use my ColourPop Lux lipstick in Quickie and I'll apply the Shayla X ColourPop gloss in Nate Freak. If you don't already know, eh, I love ColourPop. <laughs> and now I would apply my lower lash mascara. Here's the finished look, guys. So gorgeous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you so, so much for watching and thank you for sticking with me to this time. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Love you. <laughs>